Hello, welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to cover an important activity in UI path which will help for the credential management. Okay, so uh, the activity name is get username bar password. Actually, this was first implemented in the Studio X version of UI path, and this is very much helpful because this is a single activity through which you can manage both the uh, username and password from the credential manager as well as from the orchestrator. Okay, so uh, as per UI path, there are three ways of storing your credentials. Okay, or getting the credential. One is through orchestrator asset, or one is through Windows Credential Manager. You can create the credentials over there and you can get it. Or the other method is like you need to ask the user to enter the username and password. Okay, so these are the three uh, approaches for getting the username and password as in the RE framework. Okay and uh, this activity um, actually earlier uh, we knew we had the activity like a get a credential was there or get secure uh, username or password some activity was there but now both these two things can be done within a single activity okay so uh, we, i am going to show you how you can create the asset in the orchestrator as well as in the windows credential manager manager and how how you can get those values from both these uh, values okay so we are going to cover all these things <coughs> so the activity names get username and password and let's see what are the properties inside that okay so i have already opened the um, document for the same and uh, what is the purpose of this it shows username and password securely in the windows credential manager or retrieve from credential assets from orchestrator okay and save for later using the automation to log in using the credential and uh, type into activity select the saved for later username and password values as the text to type okay like instead of hard coding uh, the username and password in your script always it is suggestible to save it somewhere okay not in any of the files but you can save it in any of the secured uh, values like in either credential manager windows credential manager or if you are using uh, orchestrator you can save it in the uh, orchestrator assets okay so this activity will help you to get the uh, credential which you are storing in both these secure uh, uh, valids okay and uh, let's scroll down and here uh, you can see the different approaches for getting the uh, values from the uh, credential manager and how you can utilize that in your application so you can just go to that i will provide this uh, link in the description and what are the different property that we need to set so these are different properties first one is display name then timeout like how much time it need to wait and auto uh, submit timeout second uh, it's maximum of a 10 second so what is auto submit time second the number of seconds for which to display a login dialog when the selected credentials are used for the first time during execution okay while the dialog is displayed you can make adjustment to the credential if no changes are made during this time, the credentials are submitted automatically. Okay, the default value is 10 seconds. So this is like, um, if you are using uh, the credentials for the very first time, it will automatically show you that in a pop-up. Okay, so you can uh, make the changes to your credentials or if you directly want to proceed with that, click on OK and just proceed. Okay, so it, it will be like a one time. Okay, so the, for the first time it will ask and going forward it will use the same credentials that is one thing and what is credential name the name of the stored credentials to use okay suppose if you are going to use the uh, credential which is saved in the credential manager you can use you need to provide the name of the credential over here and what is the source you can choose it in two way i told you like uh, we can get the credentials from both the windows credential manager as well as from the orchestrator right so you need to choose which credential source that we want to choose whether credential manager or the orchestrator okay then orchestrator credential name suppose if you keep your credentials in the orchestrator and if you want to get it you need to provide the name of the credential and uh, you can either put it here or if you click on this it will ask for the orchestrator and the asset name so currently there is no asset that is why it's not showing any value and what is the folder like if you put it inside any of the folder uh, like if you click on this it, it will show you the folder uh, details as well okay so this is condition manager let me put it to orchestrator okay so currently there is no asset creator that's why that's why it's not showing anything and you need to uh, save that to a uh, variable okay so i will show you all these things 
uh, before that let me do one thing let me create a variable here mm, let me name it like a cred okay with the same okay i think yeah already a uh, variable is there which is of type uh, password credential so i'm going to use the same credential okay so uh, the variable type is password credentials okay so keep that in mind and let me do one thing let me first start from the windows credential manager so let me search for credential manager we need to go to credential manager windows credential okay here you need to create the credentials inside generic credentials okay either you can click on add a uh, generic credential and you can add the details over here the this is a name which you need to call inside the activity and this is a username and this is a password uh, that you need to provide or the another approach is like if you choose local it will ask to add bar update or remove existing credential okay it means like if you want to add a new credentials from here you can just click on this okay click on add credential just provide the name okay let me put it like auto bot correct okay then uh, let me give some um, username auto bot at uh, gmail.com then auto bot one two three okay auto bot one two three okay that is a password which i have provided click on okay click on close okay then go to credential manager okay now you can see a new credential got added that is auto bot credential okay so you can use this auto bot credential to use in your automation okay so here you can see it has automatically selected uh, credential name as auto bot cred okay i hope that is clear uh, if you don't want to create a new one means and if you want to use a system one you can click on this uh, add a generic credential and you can create it and you just need to pass that uh, credential name over here okay inside double quotes you just need to pass that uh, value and uh, let me do one thing mm, we have the credential right let me show you how to get this value message box okay i'm going to use cred dot if you click on dot you will able to see the different attribute which is providing by this variable okay so you can get the display name or if you want to do uh, or equal to some value that you can do or if you want to get the password from the wallet you can use password or if you want to get in a secure password b you can use secure password or if you want to know the target you can use target or if you want to get the username you can use a username okay so let me use username here okay and let me execute this so uh, i told you right for the first time it will ask for this dialog box that's why it's asking if you are not clicking anything means it will automatically uh, take the value which we already provided and here you can see this is the uh, uh, username which i provided in the credential manager right so this is the value autobot at gmail.com okay so it retrieved the value from the windows credential manager okay same like that you can uh, get the password as well so if you are using the password it will be like a string and you can display it in the message box but if you are going for a secure string you won't able to display that in the message box okay i hope that is clear so it's preferable always to use a secure string because uh, uh, by mistake we won't able to display it anywhere in, in the process okay so show password okay update uh, click on okay then auto about one two three that is a password which i created right so this is how you can uh, use this activity for getting the credentials from the credential manager okay from the local credential manager now i will show you how you can get it from the orchestrator okay for that i am opening the orchestrator go to tenant and here you can see the credential store is there and inside that you can uh, see where the credentials are going to save okay so by default it is orchestrator database so it will save in the orchestrator database okay suppose if you want to add some other different storage space like a azure key wallet or cyber arc 
uh, you can do that okay you need to provide those details over here and you can create it but but by default um, uh, the credential method is a orchestrated database okay so i'm going to proceed with that let me go to auto board and where we need to store it let me go to and just click on this storage bucket okay from here also you can uh, add a new storage bucket uh, let me go to asset and uh, add asset create a new asset okay then for saving the credential you need to choose the type as credential okay so if you click on credential you can see username and password as fields so let's give a name auto board credential uh, i'm giving the uh, description like a demo credential and here you can see one uh, feature is there that is global value okay so when the global value is enabled every user will receive it under uh, specifically or written in the table below okay so it means like if you are enabling this global value whoever is having the access to this uh, folder can get this username and password okay so i hope that is clear so what you can do if you don't want to uh, provide this username and password to any other one you can just disable this okay global value then others won't be able to use it so let me put it like autobot at gmail.com password i'm going to put it like uh, autobot1234 okay autobot1234 i provided and just create okay so here you can see a new asset got created and it is of type of credential let's move back to uh, studio and here just choose orchestrator and let me refresh the studio okay then whatever changes that you made in the orchestrator it will appear in the studio as well orchestrator and what is the asset name click on this there is no nothing available here name of the credential asset is not available so let me do one thing let me okay it's not appearing the values right no options are so what i'm going to do is let's put it inside a double quotes okay so let's put it inside a double quotes okay so that's it and we have the credential which is available Right, credential equal to cred that is a variable and here also i'm going to use the same thing cred dot password we'll see what is going to happen okay it has taken out of board one two three four out of board one two three four is a password which we created right out of board one two three four is a password which we created Mm, I think that is not displaying. Okay, one minute. Let me type the username. Run file. Okay, auto bot data gmail.com. Okay, so this is how uh, you can use a single activity to get the credentials from the credential manager as well as from the uh, asset which you created in the orchestrator. Okay, so I hope you are clear about this activity and you understood like where to use this activity. Okay, so I hope uh, you find this video interesting. So if you like the video, please like the video. Please uh, comment your valuable opinions and don't forget to subscribe our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.